My heart breaks for home buyers because they just cannot get a break. A recent study showed that buyers have given up because of tough competition, the prices are too high, and they're just not buying anything that is the right fit to warrant paying a higher interest rate. second half of the year, so it might be a good time to jump off the sidelines. And here's why. First, the supply of homes is growing substantially. Second, new construction homes are back in the game and they are building smaller homes, more affordable homes, and coming up with all sorts of great incentives for buyers. Third, less competition. A lot of buyers are choosing not to buy. But what that means is, again, less competition and you could potentially get a better price for a home and negotiate terms that you want. Lastly, home prices are moderating. So while they're still going up, we're not seeing the steep incline we've seen over the past three years. We're seeing sellers having to have a heart to heart with, okay, what really is the value of my home? What have I improved? I hate to break your heart, but if you haven't done anything in five years and you're trying to sell your home super high, that's probably not gonna fly. I just want to add, a normal healthy market, a seller's market back in the day, six months a home would be on the market, and that was considered normal. So we all just got used to everything being so fast and so crazy that now it's just, just different. I mean, homes are still appreciating, especially here in the Charlotte area. Historically, in an election year, real estate sales always take a bit of a decline because there's just so much uncertainty about what the next year is going to hold. So if next year, you follow historic records, if it's going to go back up, and if Fed gets inflation under control, then next year could be bonanzas again. But again, no one really has a crystal ball. You just got to move if it's your time to move. And I'm here to help you walk through that whenever that might be.